Hello and welcome to another Divine Mercy Holy Hour Novena for our nation. Thank you for joining us here on Zoom. We are Dave and Joan Maroney, your Mother of Mercy Messengers with the Divine Mercy for America prayer campaign. And uh, you can find us at divinemercyforamerica.org. We are going to be zooming over to Vilnius, Lithuania. How many of you been in Lithuania before? Well, we're, we're going there today, actually, uh, via technology to the Adoration Chapel, where Jesus is exposed in the monstrance 24-7 in the beautiful Adoration Chapel. And the original painting of the Divine Mercy is on display. And when we get there, we're going to be diving into prayer for our nation, for our families, for the world, in the specific ways that the Lord asked St. Faustina, told her to pray for her native land of Poland. Remember, she died just one year before World War II broke out. Poland suffered tremendously, but the divine mercy message survived, and here we are today. So, uh, Dave, you want to give a quick prayer, and we'll turn it over to our guest speaker today, who will be sharing um, some really good ideas with us about reclaiming our land for Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, we worship you, and we know that all joy comes from you. Everything does. And so we just thank you for this, this joyful time. And uh, we know that it also is also a time to be serious in our prayer. Uh, so many things uh, to pray for, all of the intentions, and of course, the important election uh, that's coming up here uh, tomorrow in the United States that has so much to do uh, with the life of our brothers and sisters uh, who are waiting to be born. So we pray for them. We pray for all of the mothers and fathers, and we pray for our whole world. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, with that, it's my joy to introduce you all to um, Diane Altieri, uh, who lives um, in, well, what's in Northern Virginia, not Virginia, Maryland, in um, the great state of Maryland. And uh, we've known Diane for several years now, I guess. We've come to her area. She's brought us to her parish. She's been a Divine Mercy, Div Divine Mercy devotee and Seneca leader for like 15 years. Um, she's uh, a wife. She's married her high school sweetheart. They've been married for 38 years, but you guys have been together for how many? I think 46. That's oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys were married. I know. They're a beautiful couple. Wow. Love just being with them. And um, she has two children, but six grandkids. And she, we were talking the other day, and she was telling me about something special she was doing. And I said, we got to get you on the air. We got to get do a video of this to let other people um, know how important it was. And it was, uh, well, I'm just going to turn it over to you, Diane, and you tell them what you were doing. All right. Cool. Thank you, Joan. Thank you. So, I, you know, we're all in a bit of a state of panic. Or I should say we're, we're sort of sometimes allow ourselves to go into that small area of anxiousness when it comes to our school kids. And that is, that is a bad place to be. And I hear God in the back of my mind saying all the time, God does not, fear and faith do not, do not coincide. You can only have one or the other. So if I'm in a state of fear, I have no faith in that moment because I'm not trusting in the Lord. And then I heard, I've heard God talking to me about go to the school. I've had success in other, in other times in my life, I was telling you, Joan, about going to the property of some place and praying for it. And then having that flip over into the into the direction of, of where God would want it. And so I decided to go to the schools along with some of my huh? my my um, small Christian sisters who I are very I'm very close with. And we walked around the schools of my son's, my grandson's elementary school and the and the nursery school and then the the, the Catholic school at um, our church. And then others have been doing it at their their children's schools as well. So it's Jericho walk around the school, creating this, this beautiful empowerment around the school as we pray the, as pray the rosary all around it, sprinkle holy water on the school to re rid it of all demons, to get rid of all darkness, to rebuke it all and send it to the foot of the cross. And I can't do anything about it. I can't do it in my anxiety, my anxiousness, my fears, 
for my children and all the school children, they, there's nothing that that will accomplish. So it has to go to God. So I rebuke it all. I rebuke all the darkness, anything that's gotten into any human in that school or into the school itself. And I send it all to the foot of the cross. And we, we bury, uh, bless miraculous metals, pray the rosary, sprinkle holy water, walk around it seven times. And we ask for protection from the angels and from St. Michael the Archangel and from Our Lady, who we ask for her to stop all those dark forces and to send them to the foot of the cross, as I've said, and let, let Jesus handle them. And um, I'll do it again at the school break for Thanksgiving. Well, nobody's there. Can't do it while anybody's there. Everybody would be wondering, probably end up in handcuffs if I did that. But I'll do it again at the... Um, during the uh, Thanksgiving break and again at Christmas break and sometime again in the new year, year and just keep trying to unbind the darkness that's in our school systems right now and the diabol and the diabolical plan that that seems to be just set uh, set against our kids. And wow. I think I think that I think there's really I think it gives you a feeling of peace because there's like an action you can do what better thing is there to do than give it all over to god anyway and wringing our hands certainly aren't, isn't going to do it beautiful gosh yes so let me ask you some practical things and, and to yeah everybody to so you get together with a couple of your friends right yes so how many of you are there there are a total of three of us that okay. have gone together. So it's not and, you got like 10 or 12 people all, you know. No, no, so, there's so just you, a couple of us. And then, dip, you know, different times, different amounts of whichever ones can make it. But I, I made it a point of making sure I went to the schools where my grandchildren were in, and as did the others, so that we can get those schools covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. And so as you're walking around, you're praying the Holy Rosary. Yes. And do you do any other prayers or, or just the chaplet? Yeah, depending. Yeah, the chaplet. So depending on how many times it takes us to get around, we play the rosary, the full rosary, probably the chaplet. And if we're there's if I need to, I start the rosary again. So just keep praying around it, just building up, just building a whole barrier of prayer and keeping keeping God's beauty and God's graces within it, begging God to put his beauty and graces inside of it, reclaiming that land for ourselves because we've so unknowingly or unwittingly giving it up and we're reclaiming it. And I do that actually with my car as well. I, I put oil on my tires and <laughs> I- kind of oil? <laughs> less holy oil, <laughs> not avocado oil, olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> and I, add, I pray a little prayer over my car and I ask wherever my car tires rotate with that oil that I reclaim that land. And as far as my eyes can see, I reclaim that land in the blood of Jesus Christ. Said any darkness and demons who are struggling inside of that to the foot of the cross. And I just feel such peace knowing that God is, I'm able to ask God to do that. I'm able to reclaim that in his, in his name. And if he's willing, he will, re, he will take it back in our name and for us. Where did you come up with this idea, Diane? Well, the Jericho walk, obviously, right? The Jericho walk we're all familiar with. And then I heard it somewhere on Telegram once and somebody said something about that the walls around Jericho fall. And I'm like, well, that, I don't know exactly how, how it formed. The Holy Spirit, I would assume, said, get busy. You can get busy. This can be active. This can be a thing you can do to protect your children and all the school children. And like I keep praying every day, like we all keep praying every day and the diabolical plan against them, against all of us, but especially against them. And then um, you were saying that you're rebuking the, the, the evil and sending it to the foot of the cross. Who's your source for that? Father Chad Rippinger. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people don't know who he is, do you wanna? Father Chad Rippinger is amazing. For those of you who don't follow him or hear, listen to him, he's a, an exorcist who is fantastic easygoing guy with with great insights of course because of, uh, most most of which because of the work that he does with a good sense of humor despite the work that he does and a wealth of information on how to how to really how to actually go about reclaiming things in the in the blood of Jesus Christ and um, sending it to the foot of the cross because I don't know what to do with that I can 
reclaim the land and, re and rebuke the devil. I don't even own that land, really. So I have to give it. Only God has the authority to do that. So I have to give it back over. We all have to give it back over to him saying we want this back so that he can actually take the he has the authority to do with it as we as he pleases. And hopefully his will be done in that way. And um, you also said that you plant uh, blessed, miraculous metals yes. on the school. So like in the four corners, what do you recommend as far as that's concerned? I just say plant them where your heart goes. I mean, okay. however many, however big your school is, just keep them there. Keep our lady there. And I've had some success with that in the past. I right before, right in the uh, year 2015, I planted some in the white house and then we had a, a, quite the upset and I planted some in with some other prayers at a, at a, another large site near where I live that was supposed to be a training ground for something we did not want. And we went and prayed and prayed and prayed and buried the metals. And, and it was immediately somehow the deal fell through. And now it is a, an Orthodox um, Christian school. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. You know, so how, go ahead. Well, I have a silly question. How do you, how do you bury them or, or plant the metals at the White House? I mean, it seems like you'd be on camera and they, the, you know, the oh, White House police would be. You just nonchalantly kind of. She can't give that secret away. And, and put it in the ground. I can right tell there. you, my I think well, my well, husband was don't awake all night. Answer that question. Uh, don't answer that question. <laughs> Man, you a lawyer. Which white, not which White House. I didn't tell you which White House it was. <laughs> It's in the White House. <laughs> yeah. We we visited the, the yeah. White House. Our son was was you know yeah. in D.C. and boy, I was praying the chaplet there in the Oval Office as we visited. And well, the point is, we have to pray. You know, we promote a lot of the um, home enthronements of the Divine Mercy in the home to bring Jesus in to claim your your family uh, for Christ. And I think it's just awesome, you know, to expand that beyond our homes because yeah and the schools what a great idea yeah you know at first when you told me it's because you know the terrorist that comes in and the occasional shooter which is terrible terrible but it's worse because of the indoctrination that's taking place and yeah. the, the books yeah. that they have in the library and teachers that are spreading their immorality and, and I, counselors that are giving bad counsel. Joseph Stalin is rolling over in his grave going, man, those Americans, they're doing it right. I wish we would have done all that indoctrination the way they're doing it, you know? Yeah. God. The slow boil, the slow boil. Oh. Right, right. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah. But, I like what you said about fear and faith cannot coexist. Mm -hmm. and it's, yeah, it's easy. That's to, a tough one. Yeah. Or to feel <sighs> like, or despair, like, what are we, there's nothing I can do or we're upset. So I'm just so glad um, that you're sharing this idea. And, and as Diane said, uh, she, she does it when they're not there. So you don't, maybe if school's going, there's two or three of you and you're walking, because a lot of people do walk around to school and get their morning exercise or their afternoon exercise. But um, it, I don't think so. I don't think it oh, should be done while the kids are in session. Okay. I think, I think there's a danger aspect, you know, who are we to be walking around there when they're in there, whatever grade it might be. So I, I do think it should either be at night or on the weekends or during a, a holiday break. So that it's nobody is actually, um, it doesn't look suspicious as to what we might be up to. Yes, that's so, true. That's true. And with because regard you, to, this with is regard a weapon, faith, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We have a weapon with us. With regard to faith and fear, we have an enormous issue in our country, in our world about anxiety. What, what is it? Something like some ridiculously high number, like 40% who are on some level of antidepressants or seeing somebody just to, to speak to because we are because we have so much going on in our lives and because we can't get to it all and because there's oppression on us and we can't the for those of us who are really really giving our lives to god we cannot have that in our lives because there is no space for god when there's fear or anxiousness so as soon as we recognize that as soon as i recognize that i gotta get slap it out of there because I don't, I only want, we all only want God in our space. So I just get moving. I get, get moving, get my oils and get my, my medals. And I go praying around. 
whatever building it might be empty at the moment. Well, and so we have a question. That's, it out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Mary Ellen asks, is this yeah. a public school? One is a public school. One is a private school. One is our church school. Those are the three that I've gone to that I can, I go to, but there are other public schools that some of the others are going to, and we'll probably go to like the high, the public high school, our local Catholic school. I did contact the priest and let him know. I thought that would be the right thing to do. And he was ecstatic and welcomed us with open arms and, as said that we need it and at any time. So there where we can do it during school hours. So this is, you mentioned your, you know, your friends. So other people are, are doing this too, but this is kind of an informal thing. I mean, there's no like uh, Correct. website that you have that we could, you know. But, no, yeah. no, no, no. It, it is informal, but it doesn't have to be difficult or complicated. You just grab some medals if you can. I believe in burying the medals. I don't know why. I just do. I just think that leave leave her there, grab a stick, bury them, put them there, throw some, sprinkle some holy water on the building Wow! and pray, pray, pray. Uh, best, bless salt too, right? To, you can maybe sprinkle bless salt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I always forget my salts, but yes. Well, gosh, I, you know, it's, that's amazing, Diane. It's the act of faith. That's what gives God you know, that's what moves him. And, and so it's not so much even what we do, right. It's that we do it with faith uh, yeah. and like, like the leopard, you know, where we just heard the story, go dunk yourself in the river seven times in the dirty river and you'll be cured of leprosy. That's just sounds so ridiculous, but it's the, the river didn't cure name is it Naaman. It was the faith, you know, of, of responding to God. And, so I know Father Seraphim, our Marian father, would always also say to proclaim it, you know, like, um, oh, not, not, oh, blessed mother, please protect this school. And if it's God's holy will, that'll be protected. No, that we claim this school and we know that you will rebuke, you know, all the evil that is here and empty it out and convert anybody here that's trying to harm the children, you know, and yeah. you would, you would claim it ahead of time. So Let's see. I have Donna's mentioning. Uh, I teach at a charter school in South Bronx. God bless you. There's a lot of violence and theft in the area as it's the most economically struggling part of the Bronx. Also, I think that I'm the only one in the school who doesn't support abortion nor same sex relations. Oh my gosh. I know that God has me here for a reason. And that's, you know, I think that brings up a very good point, Donna. I mean, there she is. The only one in the school that, at least as far as she knows, you know, that's standing up for the, for the morality. So our prayers too for those that are in those schools that are trying to do good. Would we you? should make that a major intention. Yeah. yeah. When we go to Vilnius, that Be those in the schools. Yeah. There's a lot of good people trying to do yes. good. You know, and, and feel so. They're again, you know, everybody's against them in the school, and that's God bless them. Boy, that's tough. God bless you, Donna. Yeah. And even while you're in the school, you know, you could get your spray bottle of holy water, just squirt it around. And, you know, the Jericho walk is seven times around. So maybe you walk seven times around the, your own building a couple times and, and ask for conversions for everybody that's in there. Immediate instant conversions and change the hearts, remove the blinders. Praise God. All right. So um, we have in the chat and we're going to come back after our holy hour for questions and more comments for a few minutes. But just to say, uh, Mary in Wisconsin, maybe one of the national rosary groups could coordinate a national wide rosary rally on a designated Saturday, gather at schools and perhaps even the school district offices to pray for a return to our schools. You know, there are a lot of public schools. We live in a small town and we were just, um, and our son lives in a smaller town, about 20 minutes from us. We went to a football game the other night and they prayed and the kids gather at the flagpole and pray. So it's not to say that prayer is not happening, um, but yeah, these are good ideas. And to maybe encourage those that are in those schools to organize prayer groups and things like that. All right. Um, St. Teresa of Calcutta and her sisters would leave or place miraculous medals in buildings that mother would want as a convent. 
building for the peer, uh, poor or prayers where needed. Alexis says she's done it at the public school where she teaches because of Diane, you know, uh, letting her know about it. And then also a source for blessed salt and oils. Uh, your brother put that link in uh, the chat, Rich. Is? Yeah. for CatholicSacraments.org, blessed salt. Right. That's in the link. But uh, if, if you're watching on YouTube, we'll put the link in the description, but it's catholicsacraments.org uh, slash blessed dash salt. Yeah. Right. Right. One last comment we have on that too. One time we were praying in front of an abortion clinic and uh, the what kind of I, the, I thought were brothers that. or monks came and next door to it was a doctor's office and an elderly monk came over and he had dropped um, someone off at the doctor and he had a St. Benedict medal and he taped it to a rock and it was blessed and he threw it and this building had a flat roof and so he threw it and it landed on the roof and no lie within like a week or two all of a sudden out of the blue that clinic closed and the day that it closed, we noticed it was one of those days where the sun was out, but there was the rainbow around the sun and everyone was looking up at it. And then we got a call. Oh, you don't want to believe it. They're emptying everything out of that building. So, wow. Yeah. I awesome. Know. awesome. Well, let's, let's, let's go to prayer. Let, let's go to Jesus and pray with confidence. Jesus, we trust in you and, uh, Thank uh, God for Diane and this great idea that she's sharing with us and that many will, um, we're going to put this video out there that you will share this information with others because it's something that can be done. It, you don't have to, if you don't have kids in school or grandkids, it doesn't matter. Just go to any school in your area, get yeah. out and walk. It's good exercise. It's good to be outside breathing fresh air and have your rosary out as a witness and pray for our children and their protection and like diane said the conversion of all those inside Amen. So we, pre we prepare our hearts you know and it's of course this is not as solemn uh an event as if you were going to a, a silent uh holy hour in adoration uh but uh, uh we're here with jesus nonetheless so lord jesus we love you and here comes the feed from Vilnius. And there is the original painting of the Divine Mercy. It was in Vilnius when under, under the direction of uh, Sister Faustina and with the help of her spiritual director, Blessed Father Michael Sapochko, with whom without him we would not have the Divine Mercy devotion. Uh, that happened in Vilnius. And so... Uh, the bishop there has set up this 24-7 uh, Adoration Divine Mercy Shrine with the live feed uh, on YouTube. And so here we are, Jesus. We love you. We worship you. And Lord Jesus, we need you so much. We need your light, your love. We just, you know, as Diane was saying, Jesus, we, we take all of our fears and all of our anxieties and we just throw them upon the bonfire of your love and we watch them and as they crinkle up in the fire and, and just disintegrate in the fire of your love. As you fill our hearts with light and with love, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And so we will pray the spiritual, the act of spiritual communion. So we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. And so we are doing the four novenas that Jesus asked St. Faustina to pray for her country of Poland. And we're taking those novenas in this nine-day novena we have each month from the first to the ninth. And we're praying those four novenas for our countries, 
for us here, it's the United States. You know, we have Canada and other countries have tuned in from time to time. And so we pray for the whole world, for countries all over the world. The rosary was not one of those four uh, novenas, but uh, is, is a prayer that uh, is good to pray. So we uh, begin with the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. For our Holy Father, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. The Annunciation is a symbol of humility, of submission to the will of God. As Mary must have struggled with her own puzzlement at the angel's annunciation, her response melted into total acceptance of God's will through her prayer. Through her apparent appearance on earth in this century, is she proclaiming her own annunciation? She asks for our submission to God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my oh Jesus, my. forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary went to Elizabeth to visit with her relatives. She came with a stirring message concerning the nearest nearness of our Savior. The creation of the word was upon us. Is she visiting with us again, giving us the same message? She, along with her son and her spouse, the Holy Spirit, visit with us every day. Do we respond as she did by opening our hearts, our wills to God? Listen to Mary's prayer of, of praise to God, the magnificent. Let us pray this decade for the election and that all of God's will be done in every state and every little small community across the country. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the birth of baby Jesus. He is with us. The word was made flesh, and now Jesus Christ is with us. What impact does that have on us today? He came not as a king or a ruler, but as a poor infant born in a manger, accompanied by shepherds, and to such humble beginnings every knee must bend. What gifts do we bring? He is still with us in all things, in all lives, the Prince of Peace. What gifts do we give? Bring joy, bring love, and praise. Give your heart, give your trust, as Joseph did. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph brought the infant Jesus to the temple for consecration of God the Father. She is still presenting him to us every day, offering her son every day to us through the mass, through his graces, his blessings, Mary also attempts to present us to God every day, to dress us in holiness, goodness, obedience, and humility for presentation to her son. All of her appearances on earth have attempted to do just that. In this decade, Mary's coming sorrows are revealed for her son, Jesus, and now for us. Let us pray this decade for Mary's intentions. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Mary and Joseph searched in sorrow for three days before they experienced the joy of finding Jesus. What anguish there must have been for them over the lost child, over what might have happened to him. Our lady is still searching today for all of her lost children. Do we see in this event an example of the constant need to search for the lost? Let us offer today the decade for this decade for the conversion of all sinners, especially those running for office and all the teachers and administrators in our schools. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. 
Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray, O God, God, whose whose only begotten begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, now, and and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend defend us us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And And do thou, O Prince of the the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. Blessed Father Michael Sapochko, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints, pray for us. Thank you, everyone. And now we call upon St. Joseph as we pray the prayer given to us by Pope Leo the Thirteenth in the 1800s. The same uh, pontiff that gave us the St. Michael prayer. So we pray. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also, through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood. Excuse me, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril. So now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Amen. Now 
we pray the litany of the saints. I just um, remembered as we were praying the rosary before we get to the litany, the um, when we went to mass earlier today, how appropriate the mass readings were uh, for our talk today with Diane uh, speaking about the children. And this was from Luke chapter 17, one through six. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause sin will inevitably occur but woe to the one through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were put around his neck and he be thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. So this work of, of praying for our children and those that, that would lead them into sin is so important. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day and returns to you seven times saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. And then um, also it continues, which is something else we were talking about. He said, and the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord replied, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The gospel of the Lord. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. So this is what we were talking about, praying for, our, for the children, but also the importance of having great faith when we do. We can move mountains because it's not us. It's the Lord acting in response to our faithfulness. Wow. It's pretty powerful. Like Diane said, so. With that, we move on to our great role models of, of faith uh, to the point of death and their holy boldness. And we call upon the litany of the saints because Jesus told us to do this on behalf of our country. So we are making the novena to the litany of the saints. And uh, today, Eloise and Helen will be helping us. In the name that. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Ha have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels and archangels, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. All you holy patriarchs and prophets, pray for us. St. Peter, pray for us. St. Paul, pray for us. St. Andrew, pray for us. St. James, pray for us. St. John, pray for us. St. Thomas, pray for us. St. James, Pray for us. St. Philip. Pray for us. St. Bartholomew. Pray for us. St. Matthew. Pray for us. St. Simon. Pray for us. St. Jude. Pray for us. St. Matthias. Pray for us. St. Barnabas. Pray for us. St. Luke. Pray for us. St. Mark. Pray for us. All you holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us. All you holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us. All you holy innocents. Pray for us. St. Stephen. Pray for us. St. Lawrence. Pray for us. St. Vincent. Pray for us. St. Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us. St. John and Paul. 
pray for us. Saints Cosmos and Damien, pray for us. All you holy martyrs, pray for us. Saint Sylvester, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Ambrose, pray for us. Saint Augustine, pray for us. Saint Jerome, pray for us. Saint Martin, pray for us. Saint Nicholas, pray for us. All you holy bishops and confessors, pray for us. All you holy doctors, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. Saint Dominic, pray for us. Saint Francis, pray for us. Saint Pio, pray for us. All you holy priests and Levites, pray for us. All you holy monks and hermits, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Agatha, pray for us. Saint Lucy, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. Saint Anastasia, pray for us. Saint Catherine, pray for us. Saint Claire, pray for us. Saint Elizabeth, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. All you holy virgins and widows, pray for us. All you holy saints of God, pray for us. Lord, be merciful. Lord, save your people. From all evil. Lord, save your people. From all sin. Lord, save your people. From your wrath. Lord, save your people. From a sudden and unprovided death. Lord, save your people from the snares of the devil. Lord, save your people from anger, hatred, and all ill will. Lord, save your people from the spirit of uncleanness. Lord, save your people from lightning and tempest. Lord, save your people from the scourge of earthquake. Lord, save your people from plague, famine, and war. Lord, save your people from everlasting death. Lord, save your people by the mystery of your holy incarnation. Lord, save your people by your coming. Lord, save your people by your birth. Lord, save your people by your baptism and holy fasting. Lord, save your people by your cross and passion. Lord, save your people by your death and burial. Lord, save your people by your holy resurrection. Lord, save your people by your wonderful ascension. Lord, save your people by the coming of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people on the day of judgment. Lord, save your people. Be merciful to us sinners. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will spare us. Lord, hear our prayer. That you will pardon us. Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to bring us to true penance. Lord, hear our prayer. Guide and protect your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Preserve in holy religion the Pope and all those in holy orders. Lord, hear our prayer. Humble the enemies of holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Give peace and unity to the whole Christian people. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring back to the unity of the church all those who are straying and bring all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen and preserve us in your holy service. Lord, hear our prayer. Raise our minds to desire the things of heaven. Lord, hear our prayer. Reward all our benefactors with eternal blessings. Lord, hear our prayer. Deliver our souls from eternal damnation and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors. Lord, hear our prayer. Give and preserve the fruits of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That it may please you to hear and heed us, Jesus, Son of the living God. Lord, hear our prayer. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Oh, you saints all of heaven. Now we turn our attention to the holy souls in purgatory. It's one of the charisms of the Marian fathers, their founder, St. Stanislaus, St. Stanislaus Popchinsky had a great devotion to the holy souls in purgatory. And so we, we plead Jesus your precious blood over the souls in purgatory that they may be washed clean and enter into your presence as we pray the prayer of St. Gertrude the Great. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I, I offer, offer thee, thee the most precious blood of thy, of thy divine Son, Jesus, Jesus in, in union with the masses said today, said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Amen. Powerful prayer. Now we turn to the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Speaking of a powerful prayer. With the wording is similar to the St. Gertrude prayer. Mm -hmm. And you know, the holy God, holy, mighty one, holy, immortal one is really a very ancient prayer in the church, especially mm -hmm. I think in the Eastern Rite Church, Father Seraphim would say, as we know, St. Faustina didn't know that, of course, it was another sign that what she was being uh, given was coming from another source. And we try to say from time to time that the, the chaplet of mercy as given to St. Faustina in the diary, begins with the Our Father and then concludes with the three re repetitions of Holy God, Holy Mighty One. And uh, the optional opening prayer and the concluding prayer, they're found in the diary, but not in the same place that uh, Jesus gave St. Faustina the diary. But it's become customary, and it's a good thing to pray those optional opening and closing prayers. And we also pray uh, during this time, we do the novena that Jesus asked St. Faustina to pray uh, beginning on Good Friday. And uh, St. Faustina said, uh, he told her, I want you to bring souls to my merciful heart. She said, well, Jesus, I do not know what souls you want me to bring. And so he told her, and she wrote it all down. And from that, we have the Novena to the Divine Mercy. So today we are on the seventh day. Terry, do you have the, those, the prayers for the Novena? Yes, very yes. good. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seventh day. Today, bring to me the souls who especially venerate and glorify my mercy and immerse them in my mercy. Most merciful Jesus, whose heart is love itself, receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls of those who particularly extol and venerate the greatness of your mercy. These souls are mighty with the very power of God himself. In the midst of all afflictions and adversities, they go forward, confident of your mercy, and united to you, O Jesus, 
they carry all mankind on their shoulders. These souls will not be judged severely, but your mercy will embrace them as they depart from this life. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the souls who glorify and venerate your greatest attribute, that of your fathomless mercy, and who are enclosed in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls are a living gospel. Their hands are full of deeds of mercy, and their hearts overflowing with joy. Sing a canticle of mercy to you, O Most High. I beg you, O God, show them your mercy according to the hope and trust they have placed in you. Let there be accomplished in them the promise of Jesus, who said to them that during their life, but especially at the hour of death, the souls who will venerate this fathomless mercy of his, he himself will defend as his glory. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. So uh, Richard, uh, Diane's brother, was going to pray for us now. Do I have a volunteer? Maybe um, Marie Claire? I'll do it if you want me to. I have it now. Okay, sorry about that, uh, Joan. <laughs> okay, no worries. Watch off guard. Uh -huh. Eternal Father. We Eternal Father. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of your sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in union with the Blessed Virgin Mary, we adore your majesty and acknowledge your supreme eternal dominion and authority. Most Holy Trinity, we place the United States of America into the hands of Mary Immaculate in order that she may present the country to you. Through the intercession of Mary, have mercy on the Catholic Church in America. Have mercy on our president and on all the officers of our government. Protect family life in our nation. Grant the precious gift of many vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Have mercy on the sick, the poor, the tempted, and all who are in need. Mary Immaculate Virgin, our mother, patroness of our land, we honor you and ask your maternal protection and care for us. Obtain for us the grace we need to live and die according to the will of your divine son. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Louise, and all you prayer warriors. It's a beautiful time of prayer. And so we'll just take a second, and then maybe uh, Diane Almond, will you sing for us today? Here. Okay. Great. Lord Jesus, we pray for America. Tanta Mergo Sacramentum Veni Remor Genui Et Anticum Documentum No Fortred Adritui Praised at Fides Supplementum Sensum defectui, genitori genitorque, lasset jubilatio, salus honor virtus quoque, sit et benedictio, Procedenti abutroque, comparsit laudatio. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, everyone. God bless America. God bless Canada. God bless the whole world. Thank you, Lord. There's something I'd, I'd like to, to tell everybody about. Um, since we moved, there's a lot of things that we found. <laughs> and one of the things that I found was a book called The Birth of America. 
and it's an incredible book. It, it speaks about everything that's going on today. I, I was I was astounded. I don't even know if it's still in publication. Um, I think it was, the copyright was 1986 and it was put out by Arthur S. DeMoss Foundation, but it's called The Rebirth of America. It's, it's, like, it's like they're speaking about today. It speaks about the scriptures, things that presidents said, things uh, Martin Luther King said. It, it's an incredible book. I, I, I'm, I don't know, like I said, if it's still in print, but it's called The Rebirth of America. And it's, it, it speaks of everything that's going on today. I, I just wanted to share that with everyone. If, if, if there's any possibility that, that they could find this and it just lays everything. It's incredible. It's an incredible book. It just talks about our history, about everything that's going on. It's, it's, and, it's, and, and so what is the point of it? I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't believe something was written all the way back in 1986. And it's, it's speaking about what is going on today. Um, it, it just kind of blew my mind. And I just, everywhere I go, I just tell people we just need to pray. And, it, and, and that's the whole thing. And the whole book is, is written is, is the scriptures and that our country was based on, on, on God, on God almighty. And, and, the government's trying to be God and they're not. And I'm sorry, maybe if the, I'm, I'm no, it's true. speaking, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble for saying anything, but, but, but God is God and, and he's the creator of all. And it's just written all throughout this book. So anyway, praise be to God. And I'll be praying, <laughs> praying and praying. Can you see that on your screen? Is that, is that it? Is that the book? Um, Author DeMoss. Yes, that's it. This that's is the it. First, first printing, January 1986. There's, there's so much information in there. I, it's just, I just wanted to, to tell you about it. That's it. And, that's. It. And then this is on Amazon. I, you know, it, I would, I did a quick search and didn't quickly find a different. I would look for a different site to buy a different you just you would be astounded book. at everything that's you just would be amazed that's all i can say i it's a wealth of information there are some things that are hard to read but they're it's like it's today it's it's incredible it's like everything wow. that's happening today i i just it, it it just popped into my hands and i just wanted to share it thank you thank you and god bless everyone. I'm glad to see you're smiling and you're happy and you're excited, you know, and I'm, it seems like that book is really um, giving you maybe some confidence and, and, you know, it's, it's very difficult times, but Hey, we, we've been chosen to be here for it and uh, to respond the way God created us to respond Stand up and not be afraid. And, and what I was saying was, was to all of us, and and especially yeah. to me, I feel. Yeah, that's awesome, Diane. Great, great, great. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. Is uh, Diane, Diane Altieria, she's still here. There she is. We're going to yeah. spotlight you for a second, hon, and give you a chance. If there's anything else you wanted to add, go ahead and spotlight. She's here. Couldn't see her. There, we lost you in our. Well, thank you for having me tonight. And thank you for the opportunity to, to spread this word. Maybe everybody can pick a spot once or twice and Go and circle it, let the walls fall down, offer it up to our Lord, and let's reclaim this land for his glory. Amen. Amen. And uh, we wanted to have Diane now because with the with the Thanksgiving break coming, um, it gives more opportunity for people to get out while the school is closed, like she said in her talk. Um, this might be something you can do. Grab your grandkids and get them to walk and you know, or your kids, right. you know, as a family, walk around any school any building, like she said, your government buildings, your courthouse. I know Father Rick Heilman would do that. Uh, they would walk around the uh, the courthouse um, in, I think, is he from Madison? Or I don't remember exactly what town. But anyway, wherever the Lord leads you. Joan, you know where else is our own yards and our own houses. Like those are ours. We own the land. We own the houses. We do have authority over that. So we should take it. So Walk the perimeter, put the salts down, put the metals, reclaim the land in, in the blood of Jesus Christ, pray the rosary, and do it seven times and keep doing it. Keep doing because that is our area. We don't want anything dark in it. 
Amen. Um, we have another friend that's with us, Florence. I think you met her when we were there at Our Lady Center. She says, "Where? What area are, of Maryland are you in?" I'm in. Uh, I'm near the Our Lady Center. Actually, I'm in Howard County. Where, where are you? I'm in the uh, edge of Frederick County, north. Okay. Well, we're close. Yes. Well, good. There was just an odd thing that happened at a school in Frederick County today. Did you hear that? No, but there was a recent one also in Green Valley too. I don't know if that's Frederick or Carroll or Green Valley. That could be Montgomery County. Our schools are under attack. So yeah. it's just like. What school in Frederick County? I don't remember. Uh, I don't uh, remember. I'll have to see. It might be Green Valley because I think the initials were GVAE or something like that. But it just happened today. It was very odd. Well, do you know what, what was it? Yeah. So this one of the teachers took a fifth grade class, ran a fifth grade class out of the room saying there was an act of somebody who was stabbing, took the kids out, ran them through the woods, through people's areas, through into the a long distance. And the poor little five, the fifth graders were so concerned, so upset. They're like, take your take your bright colored clothes off so that nobody can see us they end up at this like coffee shop called buzz i don't know if you're familiar with it and and then the sheriff came and the, some of the kids were able to call their parents and then the sheriff told the parents the kids to not call their parents and tell them they were everything was okay i mean it was odd i'll send it to you joan and david and then you can pass it along if you want to okay all right it happened last week oh and uh, yeah, I did hear about that one. It was very bizarre. That very, yeah. They, it's it's really the the devil is alive and well, and we've got to crush him. We've got to help our lady crush him. Amen. Mir, uh, Diane Mirror from California says, "Thank you so much, Diane, for sharing about the incredible work you do and putting your strong faith into action." Thank you, David Joan, for bringing such great. And unique speakers like Diane really enjoyed hearing about the different miraculous mm -hmm. stories from you all when one uses sacramentals like holy water, salt, miraculous medals, St. Benedict medals with faith. And of course, the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you all. And God bless faith over fear. Mira, we love you. She's awesome. Yeah. Okay. So we have a couple hands up. I'm going to go to you first, Peg. You're in the peg. You're muted. <laughs> Okay, and I'm also in the dark. Um, <laughs> we can hear you though. <laughs> but I wanted what I I I wonder how I, I guess I could turn a light on, right? Okay. This has oh boy. All right, I'm in Florida. Um, Joan and Dave, did you get my private email? I just saw it. Okay. Well, anyway, I've been thinking of what Father Ilar said about the blood moon, about election day. And it just so happens that where I live in Florida is in direct alignment to the most recent hurricane that's about to come ashore on the east coast of Florida now. Um, hmm. Which happens to be where um, President Trump has Mar-a-Lago, mm -hmm. um, where he lives. Mm -hmm. um, West Palm Beach, Jupiter, that area. Um, and I've been looking at the moon at night from, I'm, I'm not where I live in Palm Beach Gardens. I'm having my condo renovated. So I'm actually about 30 minutes, 40 minutes up the line, uh, in Jensen beach. And I'm just becoming aware of uh, the hurricane sort of thing. I've just been a lot in 
prayer, sometimes making these meetings and not. Anyway, one of the things that I find in this group, because I've been sporadically being able to tune into the group, is within this past week, has anybody besides me noticed the miracle in Wheezy? What happened to her from 24 hours between when we, when we, I was listening after our meeting, I believe it was, um, her leg was spasming. We were talking about the something that very, very emotionally upset her. Her tone of voice at that time and what was happening to her, I was praying. We were all praying for her. The next day, your speaker was speaking and then Wheezy did the prayers and her voice had none of the, the fear, the tremor. It, she was just filled with the spirit. And it was, it happened through our prayer groups. Now the lady that was speaking, I'm going to watch this tonight because I'm sorry. I, I was late coming on. I had some, some things going on. Um, I, I pray a lot and I have a tendency of going very high into the spiritual plane and then bringing it down into the current minute and what I see. And in the evenings, when I look up at the sky, there is an isosceles triangle of three stars. And then the moon is about at the bottom of this, this part of the triangle, right about, uh, if you were to take a, a center on this bottom of this isosceles, draw a clock okay you're talking about two o'clock and then if this if this length was done in 12 inches you're talking about at nine inches where the moon would be and then the star and then you draw the isosceles you've got a right angle and you've got that third thing. It's very mathematical. What I saw, we're supposed to have the blood moon. What I saw one night, two nights ago, was the circle. If you, and I texted some people, I said, look at the moon now. Now. Look up. Because what happened was in that, usually when you have a round object on the moon, you, the very outer edge of the moon, correct? And going around, because it's three-dimensional, you can see a shadow. And it gives you the contour that you know that the moon is round. The lighting of the moon at that point point with those stars was such that the sun as it was setting from planet earth shone directly onto the very center perpendicular to the circular ball 
of the moon. And what happened was the light flat planed against the moon and created a line that did not show any contour of the roundness of the moon because the light was so exactly laser beamed lit that it created a flat line. Do you understand? Anyway. All I know is I'm supposed to tell you that. Yes. I'm not a prophet. But there's certain things in prayers. This has been going on now for over five years. Where God talks to me when I pray. And I was sitting on the beach and I was watching the sun come up and I was contemplating the immensity. And I said, boy, Lord, you are really big. And I get this, I know. <laughs> and I kind of, and that started it. And anyway, that night I recalled and I wrote down what, what happens when I pray or something. And I was able to recall the conversation and I wrote it down and I mailed it to my husband. And it almost became, it almost started reading like a poem and it said, there will come, there will come a time where I will ask, man, will you do the right thing? Will you do the right thing in finance? Will you do the right thing in medical? Will you do the right thing in law? Will you do the right thing? And then the, the questions will get smaller, but the biggest ones are the biggest areas of how we run this country. Wow. And that was over before, before the election. Yeah. And since then, he keeps talking and I keep documenting it or sending it to my husband because he talks. And then a month or two later, all of a sudden, it's, hap it's happening. And I keep getting confirmed when he talks and I didn't want to say anything. And he's coming. That's that I can tell you. He's coming. Amen. That's that's the hope and that's the promise. And you know, he's here already. He's here already for those of us that open our hearts to him. And, you know, he's here in the sacraments of the church. He's here in, you know, the Holy Spirit, the sacraments. He's in, no. in the Holy Spirit. But no, he he's Jesus is. Gotcha. Coming. Gotcha. Come. gotcha. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That, I know. Yeah. OK. That's great. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Peg. We're going to keep praying and praying for you. I know it's difficult uh, when people have these deep spiritual experiences. That's the same thing, Faustina, to be able to relate it to other people. It's, it's, it's very, very difficult. It's a great gift, but it's, um, it's, it's difficult. It's the only thing I, I, I can say. So thanks for sharing and, uh, we'll all continue to be in deep prayer and, and trust God loves us all. Like you said, he's immense. 
and uh, he can do all things and he wants the best and he wants this world to have order for his kingdom to be here on earth uh, as it is in heaven. And um, I believe we're here to help usher that in. So we're going to have to keep moving. I'm going to, Lauren, you have your hand up. So I'll give you a few seconds to minutes to say what you have to say. And I would just like to thank Diane for her talk. It was just, it was so beautiful. It touched me so much. It made me think of what I could do for my for the building I live in with all the evil that's in my building. Now you said seven times around. Diane, maybe you could um, explain the Jericho walk. I mean, uh, maybe not everybody's familiar with the, the Jericho story. You're, yeah, you have to unmute. Yeah, because. You're still muted. You're still Diane. muted. There she goes. There go. <laughs> yeah, because it made me, it really made me think because there's so much evil in this building. And I've been wanting to, after listening to you, your talk, it just, it just touched me so much to wanting to do what you do in my building in my neighborhood, because we have a lot of homeless in the neighborhood. We just recently had another shooting in our neighborhood. It's not the, it's, it, it, like, like one of my neighbors said, that's Stockton for you when, when we had that shooting. Wow. Normal in our, and that's made me want to walk in our building and do that and sprinkle holy water, because I have holy water. Yeah. One of my girlfriends keeps it in a spray bottle in her office. <laughs> and and when, some, <laughs> when somebody walks out that she doesn't think was a good idea to have in her office, she squirts the whole area. So she can use it. <laughs> okay. That's a <laughs> I good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it sounds like your building could use a little secret squirting all around it. Yes, there's only really two of us in here that are really into church. One upstairs and me downstairs. And I'm the one who's really into church the most in our building. Because I've had other people tell me that. They say, boy, you're just so into church and this and that. There's nobody. Well, thank God for you. God bless you. Well, God put me here for a reason. It's yeah. not the best place, but. <laughs> well, you know what? You never know. Where, where there is sin, where sin abounds, grace is about more. So. Mm -hmm. we have that we have that exciting aspect to think about mm -hmm. we have alexis has her hand up alexis welcome thank you so much and thanks diane for sharing your story it's really awesome um i have a recommendation also that goes along with the jericho walk and um in my classroom when there wasn't anybody there yet i went around and um taped miraculous medals and St. Benedict medals up underneath the desks of my classroom so that they were all like protected. And, um, and then the summer came and some of the desks had been turned over by the maintenance crew and they were taken off of there. So I went back and put them back on. And, um, you know, nobody knows they're there because the desks are big enough that they can't feel underneath them. And um, anyway, it's a really great way to also protect, add, add an extra layer of protection, but I am going to go and get a spray bottle <laughs> and um, spray the classroom when they're not in the room, just spray it. And just particularly the doorway, so it doesn't even come in. There you go. So thanks, Diane. <laughs> Good job, Alexis. Great thanks. idea for all you teachers. All right, anybody else with a question, especially for Diane? If you could use exercise water and exercise salt, that's more powerful. If you can get get a priest to do the exorcism prayers on them. Right. Thank you. Who is that? And um, a hint is that you put the salt, dissolve the exercise salt in the exercised water and then spray or sprinkle that 
water with the salt instead of just the water by itself or the salt by itself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Did y'all hear her? That was Gloria. Put the salt in the water. So you have the salt water. It's our faith, you guys. It's these things, you know, it's just really using what God's given us. Why did he tell us? I mean, why did our lady come with the medal or say, I want this image for a reason for us to use them? And um, so let's take advantage of these things. Good, good, I, good work. Winnie. I wish I'd heard um, Diane's story um, last week or something. I would have told people, let's all go out to the poll polling places <laughs> and bury some metals. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's true. Not too late. A, yeah. That's not too late. <laughs> yeah. Be out there. You know how everybody's out there waving their vote for so-and-so or, you know, this proposition or that we should all go out there with our divine mercy signs. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody else? All right. Do they put, do they put the salt in the um, exercised water? I it's thought support. I thought it's Epiphany Water had the salt because it's exercise. So that's coming up next month. We can all. I always fill up all my bottles with Epiphany Water and. Um, my old parish was really good about doing all the, the um, exorcist prayers and all. They did a whole canister of salt for me. So that's I awesome. carry it, carry salt wherever I go. <laughs> awesome, Florence. Great. Well, we got some great prayer warriors in Maryland. I mean, we've got Florence, we've got Otto, we've got Diane, we've got um, who else was here from? Uh, Christine, Christine, lots, lots of people, lots of people from Maryland. Yeah. 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 So we're going to pray that uh, if we wake up on Wednesday morning and things are different in Maryland, Amen. in a good way, in a good way. <laughs> All right. Well, we will be back tomorrow praying, praying, praying as um, the last voters are going in and uh, we're going to, I think tomorrow we're just really going to, we have on our agenda to talk about our lady of America, but it's just kind of really for us to, to pray and share uh, tomorrow. Nothing, nothing too formal. Um, so y'all come back and uh, let's have some fellowship, some womenship tomorrow, <laughs> not to exclude any of the few men that are here with mm -hmm. us. We love you all. And Diane, thanks for taking time, time out and sharing this great idea. What great yes. good. Oh, uh, I know Thank a lot you. of people will take advantage <laughs> of this and do this. We have to do it. Yes. We're going to do it. Thank you, Diane, for your example of courage. Oh, thank you. People Thank you very that. much. Thank you. Yeah, everybody will all start walking our areas and the whole, the whole country will be covered soon. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God right. bless. Bye, Have everyone. a blessed evening. All Bye. right. God bless you. See you Bye. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Beautiful. Bye. 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 Bye